Hi, I'm Mervin, and I'll be talking to you about angles of an inscribed triangle. Right here we have triangle ABC in the middle of a circle, and we know that point P is the center of the circle, which makes every line connecting P to the outermost of the circle a radius. So basically, point AP and point BP and CP are all radii, which makes them all congruent. That tells us that triangles APC and triangle CPB are isosceles. And if we were to solve the that side of a triangle, all we need to do is subtract the other side by 180 because line APB is a supplementary angle. So we do 180 minus 80, which gets you 100. So the x would equal 100. So this would be 100. And so if we were to solve the other two sides of the triangle, we can split the triangles up and then triangle, so basically triangle C, A, P, and then C, P, B would be broken up like this. And then since it's isosceles, the other two sides of the triangle would be the same. So, and then the triangle's measure of the insides all equal 180. So 100 plus Y, plus y equals 180. Then if we were to solve for the y, we'd have to um, subtract 100 from both sides, which gets you y plus y equals 80. And then we got to divide 80 by 2, because there's two y's. That gets you 40. So angle uh, y would both equal 40. So right here would be 40 then right there would be 40. Then if we were to solve the uh, triangle CPB, it's the same as the triangle CAP. It's basically 80 plus X plus X equals 180. Subtract 80 from both sides, which gets you X plus X equals 100. 100 divided by 2 equals 50. And then, so one side of x, angle x, would equal 50. So 50 right here, 50 right here. That's how you solve the angles of an inscribed triangle.